Sharing time, saving pennies. AC was carrying his bank very carefully. AC had made the bank at school and had been saving pennies in it. He had saved and saved until his bank was full. Now, AC was going to put his pennies in a savings account at the bank. It sure is big in here, Mama, A.C. said quietly as he and Mama walk into the bank building. Yes, it is, agreed Mama. Many people work here and many people bring their money here for the banker to keep for them. May I help you? Ask a kind voice. As A.C. looked up, he saw a friendly lady standing behind a tall counter. Mama explained to the lady that A.C. wanted to put his money in the bank. First, you will need to roll all your pennies in these coin wrappers, said, said the lady as she gave Mama a handful of wrappers. Be sure to put 50 pennies in each wrapper. That way, each roll will be the same. You may use one of the tables over there if you like. Thank you, Mama said as she and AC walked over to the tables. Let's sit at this table, AC, said Mama. That other one seems to have a part missing. It surely does, said AC. It only has three legs. I guess that's why they have it pushed into the corner. AC, you may help me put the pennies into sets of 50, said Mama. I would like to do that, exclaimed AC. I learned to count past 50 at school. Soon, Mama and AC had all the pennies in sets of 50 each. As Mama wrapped the pennies, AC looked around the bank. Some people were walking back and forth. Some people were talking quietly. Walking and talking quietly are done inside, thought AC to himself. Running and loud noises are for outside. Mama, said AC, what is the long word that is painted on that door? That word spells president said Mama. Is that like the president of our country? asked AC. Something like that, answered Mama with a smile. The president of a bank is a good neighborhood helper, but our president is a helper to everyone in our country. Our president is our leader. Do we have a leader for our town? asked AC. Yes, we do, said Mama. The leader of our town is our mayor. Maybe I'll be a president someday, Mama, AC giggled. How do you get to be a president? Well, AC, said Mama, people have to choose you over everyone else to be president. It's a very important job. Being a king is important too, isn't it, Mama? asked AC. Our Bible story at school this week was about Samuel choosing a new king. God showed Samuel whom he wanted the new king to be. God chose David. AC said Mama, I am finished rolling your pennies. Please help me carry them back to the lady at the counter. As AC picked up some rolls from the table, he noticed a sharp object lying there beside some pens and pencils. That's a strange looking knife, said AC. It looks very sharp though. Oh, AC, said Mama, that's a letter opener. You are right, it is very sharp, be careful. Mama and AC carried the rolls of pennies back to the friendly lady. The lady took AC's money and counted it carefully. She made out a slip of paper and gave it to AC. There you are, young man, she said. This will tell you exactly how much money you now have in the bank. 
Thank you, ma'am, said AC. AC looked at the slip of paper and gave it to Mama. You have exactly seven dollars in the bank, said Mama. You save a lot of pennies. What are you planning to buy with the money you save, AC? Oh, Mama, said AC. There's the neatest ape puppet in the store downtown. That's what I'm planning to buy with my money. Daddy says it costs $10. You don't have much more to save, AC, said Mama excitedly. You will be able to buy that puppet before you know it. Yippee, said AC as he and Mama walked out of the bank together. <laughs>